Alcoil Foundation. You have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. The al Khoi Foundation supports the continued advocacy of the Special Rapporteur on violence against women, its causes and consequences. It's unfortunate truth that today there are still far too many incidents of violence against women worldwide in both public and private sector. Mr. President, the UN Women data in 2013 estimated around 35 percent of women globally have experienced either physical or sexual violence. All thought in some countries this can rise up to the high as 70 percent in their lifetime. The underlying cause of much of the violence arises from the discrimination against women and deep-rooted inequalities between women and men, which must be eradicated by taking a holic a holistic view of women's rights and enhancing their participation in the decision-making process at home, local, national, and international level. Through our work, Mr. President, we, own, we have sought to include both women and men in case of women's rights and emulating violence against women by offering seminars and training to members of our community, consoling to victims of violence and domestic violence by running empowerment programs for girls and young women. Mr. President, there are many reasons for abuse of women by its cultural or otherwise, which we cannot allow to be used as justification for violence and discrimination against women. We firmly believe that our faith can provide us with the tools to deal with the devastating social problems and that violence against women cannot be circumstance, circumstance by justified under the banner of religion. We believe that particular attention needs to be paid to research the role that sexual objectification, sexual objectification of women in public television, broadcasting, films, pornography, magazine, advertising, and computer games play in undermining the status of quality of women. In addition, we believe that there is a strong link between intoxicated abuse and cases of domestic and non-domestic violence against women and other families members, and we would urge state to investigate the role of alcohol and drug addiction to provide support and rehabilitation for victims. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank you.